Hi hello everyone, welcome to session 3. Dear students, in last session we had discussed about meiosis 1. So the meiosis 1 has uh, 4 stages that is called prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and the telophase 1 and cytokinesis. So finally in meiosis we got uh, 2 daughter cells. In meiosis 2, each daughter cells each daughter cells undergoes to give four haploid cells. So that is meiosis stages. The meiosis stages include prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. Finally, cytokinesis takes place in that cells to give four haploid cells. See, dear students, the meiosis is also called equational cell division because of it resembles like mitosis. And here the prophase 2, here the dyad chromosomes are condensed. After cytokinesis, the immediate stage is prophase 2. See here the dyad chromosomes are condensed, which means the chromosomes are start to condensed. And the nuclear membrane, nucleoli are disappeared. And formation of spindle fibers. The spindle fibers are appeared. This is all about prophase 2. The next one is metaphase 2. So here the spindle fibers, the spindle fibers attach to centromere of chromosomes. Say so which means the spindle fiber attach to centromere. Say so here presence of the protein that protein is called kinetochore, kinetochore. See here the spindle fibers are attached and each chromosomes arranged at equatorial plane to form a equatorial plate, equatorial plate. See this is all about metaphase 2. Yes, here the spindle fibers are attached to centromere of chromosomes which means it is attached to kinetochore. And each chromosomes are settled in equatorial plane or equatorial plate. This is all about metaphase 2. In anaphase 2, the stage begins with simultaneously splitting of centromere. Splitting of centromere. See here, the centromere holds sister chromatids and these chromatids move towards opposite poles along with spindle fibers. Finally, at the end of each cell has two groups of haploid chromosomes. So this is all about anaphase 2. See the anaphase 2 begins with the splitting of the centromere. The centromere holds two sister chromatids. Each chromatid moves towards opposite pole along with the spindle fibers. Finally, at the end of each cell has two groups of haploid chromosomes. This are all about anaphase 2. The next one is telophase 2. See so here the two groups of chromosomes again get uncoiled and it has become thread like structure and the appearance of nuclear membrane, appearance of nuclear membrane and nucleoli and disappearance of spindle fibers. So finally after cytokinesis to form two daughter cells. So here each daughter cells undergoes meiosis to produce four applied cells. This is all about meiosis 2. Yes, in meiosis 2 has uh, four stages prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2. Yes, in prophase 2 the dyad chromosomes are condensed, the spindle fibers are appeared. In metaphase 2 each chromosomes are come towards center of the cells. The spindle fibers are attached to centromere of each chromosomes. The chromosomes arranged in equatorial plane or equatorial plate. And in anaphase 2, the chromosomes, the centromere cell splitting takes place. Each sister chromatids are get separated and move towards opposite poles along with spindle fibers. In telophase 2, the separated chromosomes or gets uncoiled finally to form two groups of haploid chromosomes. After telophase 2, cytokinesis takes place. The cytokinesis gives four haploid daughter cells. Yes, the next concept is significance of meiosis. Yes, 
Yes. The meiosis process which serves to maintain the chromosome number constant in reproductive organisms. Yes, this helps to maintain chromosome number, chromosome number constant in reproductive organisms, in reproductive organisms and it causes genetic variation causes genetic variation due to crossing over due to crossing over so in crossing over genetic recombination takes place which means exchange of genetic materials in the population of organism in the population of organisms in the population of organisms And this uh, meiosis takes place in uh, reproductive cells. Yes, the reproductive cells gives gametes. Gives gametes. Yes, these gametes have haploid set of chromosomes. Haploid set of chromosomes. Yes, this is all about the significance of meiosis. Yes, the meiosis process which helps to maintain chromosome number constant in reproductive organisms and it causes genetic variation due to crossing over. The crossing over which helps to exchange of a genetic material in the population of organisms. And the meiosis takes place in reproductive cells which helps to production of gametes. So these gametes have haploid set of chromosomes. Is this is all about significance of meiosis. The next concept is differences between mitosis and meiosis. Between mitosis and meiosis. Yes, the mitosis takes place in somatic cells, which means body cells. It just takes place in somatic cells. The meiosis takes place in reproductive cells. Reproductive cells. Yes, and the mitosis is also called equational cell division equational cell division the meiosis is called reductional cell division reductional cell division at the end of mitosis process gives two daughter cells Two daughter cells. At the end of meiosis, which gives four haploid daughter cells. Four haploid daughter cells. Yes. And in mitosis, there is only one nuclear division takes place. Only one nuclear division takes place. Yes, in meiosis, two nuclear division takes place. There is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Two nuclear division takes place. Nuclear division takes place. Takes place. And the mitosis is concerned with growth and development. Growth and development and the meiosis is concerned with 
formation of gametes formation of gametes in sexual reproduction and here so there is no substages of prophase in mitosis there is no substages in prophase here the substages of prophase that is called leptotin zygotin packetin diplotin and diakinesis the prophase has substages has substages and in mitosis there is no pairing of homologous chromosomes and formation of bivalent chromosomes but here the pairing of chromosomes takes place and formation of bivalent chromosomes takes place and in mitosis crossing over of non sister chromatids does not uh, takes place but in meiosis crossing over takes place between two non sister chromatids which cause genetic variability is yes, this are all about the differences between mitosis and meiosis yes dear students in this session we had discussed about meiosis 2 and the meiosis substages that is called prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 telophase 2 finally we will get four haploid daughter cells and the significance of uh, meiosis and the differences between mitosis and meiosis thank you